Hey everyone, it's Christine of Twinkle Plans Her Day. I'll be planning the week, the month of November. Can't believe it's November. I'm gonna take the pages right out and get to it. Today is November 1st. I should have maybe done this before November 1st, but it's just been really busy with lately and I'm surprised I can even get it done today. I'm gonna have to rush through this, I'm afraid, because time is short. So. I have, I'm gonna be covering up November and 2021 with my post-it labeling and cover-up tape. I can use regular sticker paper, but this is just so convenient and easy. So I'm going to, here. Now I've, I've misplaced my scissors, so I'm using these terrible scissors today. I think I'm gonna to have to go back to Joanne's sometime and get new scissors. To me, the proper tools are so important. It just makes it more fun to do. And these scissors just don't make the cut. Okay, so November's cover. Let's see if I can use this little bit. See, a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. And I'm gonna use this little scrap I had to finish. Okay, so normally what I've been doing if you've been following me if you know my channel you know that I take Mambi sticks Mambi letters and put them on the side but like this now I was going to use just orange yellow and red but these here I'm going to use this seasons book has a lot of like light blue I'll show you they have this florals and I plan on using the florals in this book this floral page and there's a lot of blue in it so I thought I would take out the blue a um, couple of the letters be blue just to make it just lighten it up a little bit because it was a, it a little it was a little um, sad looking so I think I like this color scheme here I don't think there's really enough room to put up the whole word I mean maybe there is but I think since all these four blocks are clear because the 30th is Tuesday this is all clear, so I think what I'm going to do is, I'm not gonna put it down on the bottom, I think that would be too much, but I'm gonna put it, I have the week of Thanksgiving off like most people do. So I'm going to use this space to write the month. I think yellow will go here. Yeah. Or maybe I should put this here. No. So I think November is going to be like this. Right, so I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to put these flo the florals in this book. I'm going to add them around. Um, and let's just get to work. Here we go. I like to cut out these letters beforehand because... Actually, I should start from this side. You know what, I'm gonna put this back here because if I put it here, I say I don't really know how much space I'm going to need and I don't want the E to not have enough room for the E and I don't want to go into the holes here. So I'm gonna start with the E. Here, I'm gonna take the backing off of this. And put this so I can easily put it back on, the, on this little scrap. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the E so I because I want the E to be right at the edge here and just work from there. There we go. Now I may just put the V down just a little bit under. Let's see. I can put it like under here, like so it's not even, or I can put it straight next to it. I have a I want to. I want to put it down just a little bit and play with the levels a little, just to make a little, give it a little whimsy effect. Here's the, this was actually a Q and I took out the bottom because I didn't have any O's that were this color. Ag. Come on now. I love November. I love November. <laughs> I didn't really have the stress of Christmas yet. And we have all these days off. We have election day off. And then we have Veterans Day. And then Thanksgiving week. I don't have all of Thanksgiving week, but I know I'm not gonna be doing anything special, so I can definitely put stickers on this week and be okay. 
All right, so now I can put the N on. And it doesn't matter to me that it goes off the edge a little bit, like it. So I'm gonna put the M a little bit lower. And that way, if I wanted to put Thanksgiving Day here, if I wanted to put a sticker there, I could. I think I'm just gonna put like a turkey sticker. It's not like I don't know when it is. Okay. Oh, actually, Thanksgiving is the 25th, not the 24th. Silly me, I guess I don't know when Thanksgiving is. All right, so then, let's see. I don't wanna cover the 25, but I don't want it on the same level. Here we go. I could have whitened out where it says Thanksgiving, but I don't think any, I don't think uh, it matters. I love the color scheme. I like it. I think adding the blue made all the difference. I had like orange and red before. This is an F, I ran out of E's. So I'm making I'm making an E out of an F. I can't be the first person to have done this. I just there we go. Took another part of another letter and cut it off there. All right, so I'm putting the R up here. I'm gonna put it slightly above the line. I kinda like it when the letters aren't exactly even. There we go. All right, so now with the florals. I have these florals. I have this page. I want to use all these gorgeous, gorgeous florals. I want to bring out these blue ones. They're perfect. And I don't want to put them next to the blue. I wanted to put them maybe over here. So this is the part where I speed up the camera and do my voiceover. And I'm sorry guys, my voice is really hoarse. <laughs> my neighbors had this big party and with the masks with school, I've just been you know, raising my voice and talking too much and it just takes a toll and it seems like every time at this year, I do get kind of hoarse. So I'm just gonna try to take, you know, take a deep breath, relax. Here I'm really enjoying the process, sticking flowers here and there. I love that I put that um, flower into the O of November, I think it's a cute little whimsical touch. I'm just putting the flowers as I see them, like trying to alternate the colors so there's not like too much yellow together and too much brown together. I mean, pretty basic stuff, but it's just me having fun. Trying to make sure that I can also still see the word and not to get the florals or the, the foliage too close to the letters so that you can still see that it says November. I'm not too concerned at all about the week being covered up. I pretty much know what I'm doing that week. I have the week off, so it's not like I have to be anywhere or do anything special. And things will come up, and I'll use my weekly for that, so my monthly is not really important for that. My monthly is more for decorating and having so much fun with these, with these stickers. It's totally a meditative process for me, and I'm enjoying my time, as we all should with our stickers and not stressing. Although I am stressing a little bit because <laughs> I'm worried that I'm not going to have enough of these wonderful florals to finish. I want to really make it like, um, like a copious amount of florals over around this. And I'm not sure that I'm going to have enough. Like I'm already halfway through the page here and there's still much, so much room, more room to fill and more space to fill with all these colorful, fabulous stickers. So what I did is I did photocopy this page on sticker paper, so if I have to bring it out, I will, but I don't want to. I wanna save it for maybe a spread for next year or for later on in the month, because I really do love this page. I should have really put two pages of this in the book. I'm kind of very upset about that, or I maybe should have bought two books of this. This one is one of my favorite sticker books of all time that the Happy Planner has ever put out, and I'm totally okay with having that on the record, because <laughs> this is, amazing book this seasonals book 
totally up my alley. And it's really a shame that the Happy Planner, I think, has gone uh, in a different direction. They've gone basically more towards neutrals and more sophisticated florals and more sophisticated designs. And that's nice and all, but that's not why I went to the Happy Planner. I kind of like all the colors. But whatever, of course, I understand that some people like that. And I like that too sometimes. But anyway, I digress. I'm filling up the spaces using these these leaves, having fun with it, enjoying my time, thinking that, oh gosh, I hope that the Happy Planner does come out with more books like this, or I'm going to have to like go through every single sticker that I have in my collection. Not that I don't have enough. I certainly have enough to last me a lifetime, but it is always new to get great to get new designs. I'm just sticking them here. I like the florals that like to come out, like they're branching from the letter. So the stems of all the leaves are going to be facing the letters. I'm going to try to use up all the space. And I'm so loving this color scheme again, as I said. I kind of cut out a little bit of the film here because it was getting tedious and getting a little long. It did take me a long time to do this. But of course, you know, it's Sunday night. I had time. So I decided to take my time with it. And it does, it is kind of work. You do need time. This is not for like the person that's rushed, rushed, rushed. I, this, I was supposed to do this video really quickly. But I did, um, I did take my time with this part of it. And it did take me longer than usual. But I think I'm going to finish this sheet. And then from there, I'll reevaluate the situation. So here's a little close up of the florals, I of, of the leaves. I really, really love it. Again, I'm just admiring these colors and wondering. Now I have some other stickers from Die Cuts with a View that, was, that were lying around on my desk in addition to this book that I might pull out, thinking about pulling out as I complete this, sticker, this whole sticker sheet. I think it's a little sad when you finish a sheet. <laughs> but it looks like that's what's going to happen. So on that sheet, I kind of ran out of actual leaves. I only had acorns left um, and none of, no greenery. So I took out that die cuts with a view sheet that had very small leaves and I think would fit nicely into these crevices. So I took it out and it actually worked really kind of well. So these were sheets of die cuts with a view that I got at Joann's. They were in sets like six, six or seven different Halloween sticker sheets. And this one is more like just had little pumpkins and tiny, tiny leaves on it. So I thought that was cute. So now that I finished that part, I'm going to need some boxes. So I'm going through the book to see if there's any boxes that I can use to designate um, election day. I'll be working election day the whole day. So I'm going to note that. There we go, there's a box for election day. And going through some other days, like when my daughter comes home from college, which I'm so looking forward to, and my husband's going to visit a couple days before to see a football game, or a basketball game, to see a basketball game, I mean. So I'm noting that. And I'm gonna put some more Hmm. Thinking of putting, because there's another sticker with those leaves on top, but I'm not going to use it at this time. Just taking out some more boxes to designate, you know, when bills are due and when the dog needs his her medication, things like that. So once I have that sticker down, I think there's a big white space on the left side, on the upper left side. I'd like to put a longer box like this one. And it says grateful on it. So I'm going to put some things that I'm grateful for on the top. And I'd like to have some more florals coming out from the side of that box. And I believe there are a couple more florals on another page. I'm just going to go looking through here. Or I'm just going to go back to the original <laughs> and take out some stickers. I'm going to cut this one out. And you'll see I'm going to put one on one side. There you go. A little bit of flower on one side and use the other for the bottom, I think, of this box. There we go. Just to get a peek of that color. And I'm gonna go back to these little tiny leaves. I think they work so perfectly with it. 
So that goes great. I'm really happy with these die cuts with a view stickers. I didn't think I was going to use them. I actually bought them for my classroom and I ended up putting them in my planner. The stickers are really too small. These stickers are too small for the kids anyway. I'm just going to add a couple things. I like the orange up there to bring out the orange from the bottom. Just tie everything together. Okay, I'm back. I was looking for some washi to put on the top and I'm not really, um, I don't have a lot of washi, but I did find this cute little washi from the fall book. So I think the colors match pretty well. I'm gonna just put a stripe on top. Maybe I'll connect these two because there's two different strips here. They're very thin. Let's see if I put it up here if it goes well. There was another one I thought was even better, but I don't, I used it already, <laughs> unfortunately. So there's that and I just can, might actually put this on top to make two strips. Let's see, I can go like this. Let's see if that works. You can't really tell. It looks like there's writing on top. Okay guys, I'm back. I took out the Marabou designs and I found some cute little washi from the back here that I think went really well. This orange stuff, I took it all off. It's not one big strip here. Like there's little ones that I put up here and I think it borders nicely the, the page. I also saw these cute little things and I'm gonna add some of them, some of these banners around. Not the stars or the arrows, although I love them, I just don't think they go with the, with the leaves. So I love this today one. I'm gonna add this over here. I think that's cute. Just that little touch of orange again and I'd like something that was blue-ish like a small box I love the set goals and crush them this over here but let me see if there's something else oh these are cute these cute little flowers maybe I'll add on the top next to the today and I think that might be it that might be the only touch I really need. There we go. It's in the details. Oh, here are some more leaves that are cute that I could use around. Let's just add, no, I wanna add a box first. Let's see if I can find, this book is, I love this book so much. I can't even with this book, look at this box. I love it. Oh, perfect. Oh, I wish I had a smaller, let's do, let's do focus here. I wanted a blue one, but it's okay. Um, right there. This is going to be it. Veterans Day. Okay, that's it. I finally got it done. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really loving this spread. Thank you so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can catch me on Instagram at Twinkle Plans Her Day. Thank you so much for watching.